Simon, you're based in Taiwan. Now, Taiwan is well known for its manufacturing industry, but the economy is starting to move away from that. So what's it known for now? High-tech technology is still leading the major productivity and also the growth of the countries in Taiwan. So high-tech technology, how does this rate from Taiwan or China compared to other parts of the world? Taiwan and China, so technology-wise, is one of the leading countries in worldwide because not only for the manufacturing, but from the design perspective, actually from the design, from semiconductors. This whole pipeline of supply chain is, is, exists in Taiwan and China. Well, you've actually recently opened a factory in the Philippines, if I'm not wrong. Yes. How come you're moving production away from China? Is this because sort of labor costs are becoming too much in China? Yes, labor cost is one, one issue law. The other issue is, uh, is uh, the people turnover rate in the factories in China is getting higher. The reason is quite simple because right now, you know, China, they have a one kiss policy, right? So after the one kiss policy right now, only one kids in the family. So parents and the grandparents doesn't want their kids going to the factories because they want to provide the kids have the more education going to probably the high industry, the service industry or high income industries. So the younger generation of the, the, the kids in, in China are uh, reluctant to go to the factory more and more. So that's why we need to find more uh, manufacturing base in Southeast Asia. I think a lot of manufacturing has moved from China to Vietnam, the Philippines, but can these countries really compete? Because first of all, they're a lot smaller than say China yes, as yes, a whole. Yes. And secondly, should China be worried if a lot of its sort of manufacturing is going abroad? I don't think China is going to worry, right? Because China want to put their human resource in more productive way. Because in the past 20 years, China probably more focused on use the exporting of the business to create their country's economic. Right now, they probably they want to put the resource of the countries, first of all, to more high-end, uh, high-tech technology industry, for example, uh, semiconductors, for example, service industry, for example, uh, the other industries, more productivities. And those kind of the business were going to the Southeast Asia country. But however, as you know, Southeast Asia country cannot as one country as big as China, right? So they were separate into the different country, have different strengths. For example, Thailand they have a strength in automotive, hard strength industry. Vietnam they have a uh, they have strengths of the industry. Philippines as well. So there were several countries of the Southeast Asia were taking over the labor intensive the, the the business from to China. So Taiwan, how dependent is it on mainland China, and do historic tensions still exist? Well, the relationship uh, between Taiwan and China is, uh, is getting better and better. Because in the past eight years to six years, actually China and Taiwan, we have the red ride from Taiwan to China. We are almost free traveling to, to, to China. And China also provide uh, some help and incentive to, uh, to Taiwanese company like us. So it's a relationship and the whole thing's going to the good directions. And China and Taiwan realize we need to be good, more harmony going to the, the better result in the ending in the futures. So we have uh, uh, some kind of supporting to each other. Uh, it's not competing anymore. So finally, how do you see the economy in the mainland and Taiwan moving forward? I mean, everybody is saying it's going to sort of take over the world. Is that where China's headed, do you think? The key reason is I see the Chinese leader now. They are one of the best generation of leaders I see in the past 20 or 30 years. So the current generation of the Chinese leader is very strong. They have a visionary. They have a very powerful knows the country, the China, where should they go? I think the China will going to turn to the become a stronger and uh, the better country in the futures. And, and China, the leaders, learning how to deal with the rest of the world. And Taiwan the same, we are the, the small countries, uh, we cannot compete everything with uh, the big country, right? So we are how to utilize the resource in worldwide, in Taiwan, in, in China, in worldwide, how to become the better country in the next generations.